Hello, and welcome to English for Dirty Foreigners, the first in a 732,000 part series on how to teach dirty foreigners English. English for Dirty Foreigners presents Ask a British person absolutely anything, and he will answer you with his mighty words of English. Jennifer P starts off our very first edition with a two-part question. The first part is, why? The answer, dear Jennifer, is Big Cole. Chances are that if you're watching this, you are yourself a dirty foreigner. Congratulations on making it past the snipers and minefields, and welcome to Britain. Please alert your local Bobby to your arrival, and he will give you the traditional welcoming. Red light, green light, go, and welcome to the quarterfinal of the quiz show we maintain is Britain's most popular, despite less than impressive viewing. <laughs> Part two. Is your show in black and white? Yes, it is. See you next time. <laughs> Remaining in this heat are Oxford Circus. Maybe a tinsel town. <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt. And Paradigm Rhythm Method. Lesson 1. Words. There are many words in the English language, one of which is noun. Noun is a word which describes my dislike of you. Now. Let's start off this round by spinning the Wheel of Question Asks. The plural of now is noon. There are many noons in England. We have them almost every day. <laughs> Propentor, activate. Propentor, activating. I've been informed that this episode was far too short. Your question is very silly indeed, and to extend it somewhat, let us include a part three, or as we call it in English, party. The second word in English is lugosite. Lugosite. Lugosite is a word which describes me as I use a noun, Lugosite. Initiate presenting mode. Annihilate more people. No, Rebenta. Presenting mode. Prostitution mode activating. Robotic vagina charging. Why is your show in black and white? Well, Jennifer, we're glad you asked. In Britain, we created the internet in 1934. It started life as a humble wire-based device known as the Carrier Pitch Internet, which was used to intercept the enemy's coded messages. Be warned! The Pitch Internet is nothing like the Pitch Inter. Robentor, initiate presenting mode. Presenting mode activating. Good. Keep that robotic vagina charged. You'll be entertaining the troops later. Robotic vagina charging. Many years of development went into evolving the pitch internet. When the project was complete, the internets were born. Other words in English. Verb. A word 
that implies an action. Reverb, a word that re-implies an action. Adverb, a word that advertises an action. Verbivore, a word that I use when I'm describing myself using verb, adverb, or reverb. The series itself is in black and white because in Britain we are, of course, still using the very first generation of internet. The first generation of any technology is always the best. We're proud to still be using Windows 3.1, our mobile phones are the size of small ponies, and our airplanes are built by hand from rubber and wood and travel up to 100 feet. Question answered? I think so! Our first question in this exciting quarterfinal is, what is in my pocket? The first appendix is of course stored here. The breast appendix, or breast appendix, is the 712th most important organ in the body. It controls blood flow to the fingernails, back hair, and scrotal lesions. Oxford, you're up first. Is it your hand? No. Other than my hand, what is in my pocket? I said, pencil. You're saying a pencil? Pencil? Pencil. Pencil. Pencil? Pencil. Oxford Circus says a pencil. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Fantastic. Labia, your turn. Only available from the wrong implement gang, the creators of Tire Hat and Sheep Spoon, comes the Cow Chair. All the comfort of a chair in a handy portable cow form. Available in all the colors of the rainbow. Also available, Cow Chair Accessories, Kitten Throne, and Car Pillow. Order now. What is in my pocket? Pencil! We've already had pencil. Pencil! Oxford already said pencil. Oxford! Labia Tinseltown says her competitor, Oxford Circus, who is standing next to her, is in my pocket. Good luck with that one. The breast appendix is notoriously homosexual and is believed to have been created accidentally by Oscar Wilde in 1892, after he made a particularly witty retort heard by the entire population of the world. The retort is so witty that it is believed one would instantly become homosexual and have an insatiable thirst for the blood of baby marmosets. Franklin, the question comes to you. What is in my pocket? Pencil. <laughs> we had pencil. Oxford. We've had Oxford. What else could be in my pocket? Pocket. Pocket? Pocket. Franklin Roosevelt's answer is that in my pocket there is another pocket. <laughs> Reading Wilde's retort is much less dangerous and only causes mild scalding. The lesson we learn from this is beware homosexuality. It's not only illegal, but it's also against the law. Now, our final quarter-finalist, Paradigm. What is in my pocket? <coughs> <laughs> Paradigm Rhythm Method thinks that Ugg is in my pocket. God knows how he made it to the quarter-final. And that concludes lesson one. Now, go back to whatever stinking country you came from. I mean it! Go on!
Get back to that vile pit that spewed you forth, you filthy little whelk! That sentence used verbs, reverbs, nouns, nouns, and adverbs. Could you spot them all? See you next time. <laughs> and the answer is... A piece of toast! Nobody got it spot on, so we'll have to go to... The No Answer Take Apart Letter Board! Labia Tinseltown's answer of Oxford has the most letters, and so the point goes to Labia!